Hi guys, it's Sasa Crafters. Today I want to show you how I made these trims. Isn't that pretty? This on the back, so pretty. That pink one, the yellow one, it's red. This is a chocolate chip one. The orange. And this. I have a lot of fun making this. So pretty. You should love it. It blue one. Okay. Now the um the material that I used to make the trim I used the twisted paper cord. Remember that I made uh, with the flowers. Now when I was making flowers yesterday, and I look at it and hmm, so I got an idea to make a trim out of it out of it I have to speak slowly to understand otherwise my tongue will twist it together and you guys don't understand me all right um so you i make the um small one only one inch you guys can make bigger size whatever you want but i I think I like this side one inch. It's so pretty. See, this one you want to cut a one inch. You will need twelve of them, twelve pieces. As I told you before, you have to uh, untwist it first. It's easy for you to un untwist it. If you cut it first, it's hard for you to uh, to untwist the paper. So I already cut my 12 pieces in here. And now I'm going to um, dye my own color. I'm gonna use this bottle and the water, just the water here. a quarter water in there again all these color that I use um, stamping up the inkers this I'm gonna use a uh, coast to cocoa color um I don't know how much four or five drops in there I don't put any sparkle grays or anything to make it shiny because um, I use the two that have sparkle on it that have the glitter so I don't need this to get um, more sparkle it's, it's kind of pretty already I don't need it to end then I'm gonna change it to this one and Oh, uh, the two that I forgot to mention. This one about 30, 31 inches. The two that I cut long and what? One and a half wide. So we're gonna put that together. And now we're gonna spray it. Try not to uh, spatter the ink on my trim here. Not look good at all. Okay. Now I'm going to spray all the color. I try not to get the ink all, all over my fingers because I have to go to work today. Okay, this one too. I already get ink enough. Oh, 
hang a cipher okay. I'm gonna spray all the pieces And now we're going to dry this one by using the heat tool. Let me grab my towel here to dry it up. When you dry this uh, twisted paper, don't stay in one spot because the paper sometimes it doesn't curl back like this. That's what we need. So I want you to move like uh, moving like this. Follow the paper so the paper will curl curl it up like this. Okay, guys. After I dry the paper and the two already, now I cut the strip of the paper um, half inches by 12 inches because I want my trim to uh, fit on a layout 12 inches. So I use um, I cut the this one my car uh, pattern pattern uh, pattern paper that I have in my stash, I haven't used it so I cut one piece of the and I'm gonna use my hot glue you know put the hot glue on the end a little bit and you wanna adhere this place this one Place the the end there. Um, if you want your uh, trim to get like a waver look, you can move it up to you. you. Can move like this one up and down. How much you want to get that look that depend on you. Now I'm gonna put a little bit, but I think I like my kind of this look, as you can see. It's okay. I love how the way it look. And I use the hot glue a little bit here. Not too much. And what you want to do is you use your finger. You see? To get the ruffle look. See there? And what I like to do, you can continue from here, but I like to do over here so I'm um, make sure that the thick piece it is you know perfect under the bottom. Sometimes you can you know have left over or not enough depend on. Sorry, guy, my memory full. Okay, now we're back. Um. Okay, as I said, um, I want to do the this in here and mm, this in here, so make sure that. I have enough six pieces down the bottom and on the top. I'm going to do a right here, put the hot glue there. Another piece here. And 
here's one layer if you want to do only one layer that up to you but I like two layer better let me show you see this one two layer and this one only one layer now we're gonna do again Same thing, we're gonna do both end from this end to this end. The one it one piece is left over, you can uh, look and which one is lower than another one, so you can add it. Even though you already have two layer in there, but this one, you see here, this one will pop up more. This one a little bit too thin. I'm gonna add the the one piece it left over over here. <laughs> 